Good evening and welcome. Time now for the business segment, proudly brought to you by MTN. I am Dorothy Ajimai. The Supreme Court, by a 3-2 majority, has affirmed the Court of Appeals ruling that the receiver of the fund Unibank, Ni Amanododu, can testify in the criminal trial of the bank's founder, Dr. Kwabna Dufo, and other officials. Per this ruling, Mr. Dodu is permitted to testify before the High Court in the trial of Dr. Dufour. Mr. Dodu was to be called as the first prosecution witness in the trial, but lawyers for Dr. Dufour prayed the court to prevent him from testifying. That the receiver had breached sections of the bank's and specialized deposit act 2016. According to the lawyer, Mr. Dodu was appointed as receiver of Unibank after being a partner of KPMG, which audited the accounts of the bank. Director of Public Prosecution Yvonne Atakra Obobisa, however, opposed the plea of the defense. She said, although Mr. Dodu was previously a partner of KPMG, his appointment as receiver was lawful. She argued that the witness meets the requirements that qualify a person to testify. The trial judge, Justice Bright Mensah, who is trying the matter as an additional High Court judge, dismissed the argument by the defense. Following the High Court's decision, the receiver was asked to take the oath and proceed to testify. Not satisfied with the decision, the defense appealed the matter at the Court of Appeal, where the decision of the High Court was upheld. Dr. Kobnandu Four then proceeded to the Apex Court, which has also, by a 3-2 majority decision, affirmed the ruling of the Court of Appeal. Dr. Kobnandu Four and eight others are facing a total of 71 charges for various roles they played, leading to the collapse of some financial institutions. All eight accused persons have pleaded not guilty to the charges and are currently on bail.